The Type EZA supports are coming, but should you summon? How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are taking a look at the Type EZA supports and their upcoming banner here in just about two days. They should be releasing at 8 30 p.m. on April 11th. That is Hawaii Standard Time, so that's about 10:30 p.m. Um, on PST Pacific Standard Time. So, you know, I mean, that's not too bad a deal considering um, all that's involved here. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna answer that age-old question. Should you summon? In order to answer that question, we're gonna do what we always do: take a look at three things. Number one, the units themselves. Now we won't go over every single unit in detail, as most of them have generally the same effects, but I'm going to pinpoint a few that stand out above the rest. And then we're going to take a look at the banners. None of these units are alone in their banners. They come with quite a good package deal, and we're going to talk about that. And then we'll take a look at what lies ahead. We all know what's coming in just a few months, so we're going to talk about what you might be giving up if you decide to throw some stones at these banners. So first and foremost, let's hop on over to the campaign info, right? So over here on the Dokkan Wiki, we have the campaign info. Starting on the 11th at 8.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, all banners will be released. This is not like the last time they showed up where we had these like kind of spaced out through the celebration. They're basically running all the way up until the 25th all together. So, I mean, this is a pretty good deal. It just means you don't have to wait if there's a specific character you're waiting on. It's also, I feel like, kind of soft confirmation that something is happening at the 25th, which is likely leading into the Golden Week campaign, which makes me think they're probably not dropping anything secret here, but that's for another video. So, banners coming on the 11th and will last for about two weeks. So now the question is, are any of the characters on the banners worth it? So we'll just use one of these guys as an example here. So let's let's use the SDR hit. So they all basically have similar uh, setups. They have a type support, either extreme or super, for their type at 150%. So I believe this is the highest type leader skill. So if you wanted to run a mono type, this is about the highest you're gonna get uh, for specifically a mono type lead, unless you're running like a full mono type on like somebody's 200% that is just that type. You, you know what I mean? Uh, the point is, right, it's the highest mono type leads we have. Now, all of them have a similar effect. So they give STR, um, or they give their types key 3 and 10% and then an additional 50% to the super or extreme variant of that type totaling in 60% for that typing assuming it is a super or extreme class they will all change key spheres to the key sphere of their type they will all gain 50 percent uh, per key sphere obtained and they will all have an additional 20 percent um <clears throat> they will all have some kind of additional effect based on the key or something else that they're doing and then they will have the, 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 i mean it's basically all the same right they have an additional Right, so this one gets critical hit, like the TN, this one. Oh, actually, no, they all do get the critical hit, okay. All right, so the only thing that changes really is their super attack effect. For some reason, I thought some of them had some different things on here. I guess not, okay, so that actually makes this totally easier. So they all have basically the same effect, it's just catered to their typing. Guard for four turns, um, as long as you have the same type. Change key spheres, um, to the type that they use. Support for the extreme or super variant up to 60%. Attack and defense 20% per type and critical hit. So very, very nice. Now the key here that a lot of them get a bunch of huge buffs here, uh, they get, they change all key spheres to whatever their type is when you fall below 50% as long as you meet the category. So like for the cell here, extreme class allies, as long as you have two and you fall below 50%, they will change. 
for the Gohan if it's super allies, right? It'll change to fi uh, Fizz if you fall below 50%. So all the same effects. Where they begin to differ is on their super attack effects. So some of them are doing something. So like the Fizz Gohan here is infinitely raising attack and defense and stunning. The Boo is raising attack and defense for one turn and recovering HP. Hit is... Uh, greatly raising defense and stunning. The Tian greatly raising attack for the turn and lowering attack and defense. The Cell raising greatly raising defense for the turn, lowering attack and defense. The Vegeta greatly raising attack infinitely and the Pan. Now this is so I guess this is a good jumping off point to talk about the priority of units. The AGL Pan. So the AGL Pan is probably the best out of the entire bunch and that is because this super attack effect right here causes supreme damage and raises allies attack and defense by 30 percent for two turns all right so this is a support added to her usually units that get this only last for the turn she's one of the few units that gives this support buff for two turns on his super attack effect so just to understand why this is so powerful right this adds an additional percentage buff to their super attack effect, right? So whatever the super attack effect is, it basically becomes, because it's 30%, more or less the next step up, right? So like if a unit was, to, to give an example, if a unit was stacking defense on their super attack effect, right? This now becomes, this 30% support buff means that they are now greatly stacking attack and defense right it's this the the percentage rate is because of the way this type of thing is calculated we're, ends up working out a lot better than say a standard support buff of like their 60 percent that they're giving right um so it ends up being a lot more it's a lot better than say even bulma's two turn support because it is on the super attack effect so she is probably the best of the bunch and if you were to prioritize any unit if you were to throw 30 stones at any of these banners it would definitely be the AGL type because she is just that good. None of the other units have an effect similar to this, right? No one else is doing this, right? Um, Gohan's raising his own. Cell is doing his own thing. Tien is doing his own thing. Gohan's doing his own thing. Rildo's doing his own thing. Um, he's actually pretty good, honestly. Hit is raising his own defense. And then who's the other one? I think I'm, we're missing one. Hit, uh, Kaba here. What is Kaba doing? All right, yeah. Uh, Kaba is raising his own attack and defense. Like, but go on. So she's the only one that's doing this kind of support. Add that with a little bit of dodge, and you are cooking up a pretty good support unit with the pan so like i said if there was one unit to prioritize it's definitely the pan here some close seconds right if you were to summon on these banners some close seconds are probably the speaking of the kaba and the hit they are great str support types Kaba having a lot of uh, units on the various teams that he's on, that he supports, right? Universal Survival Saga means he supports STR UI Goku. Um, there's quite a few good super STR Super Saiyans that he would be supporting, as well as Bottom Master and Cycle and a few others, right? He's just, I mean, him being STR is really, really helpful. Uh, hit is really good, although the number of extreme str units he can support is quite limited at the moment but that doesn't mean he's not good um another good one here is the te uh, tech cell really really good of course his main issue is the you know linking partners are cells but he is pretty good he supports quite a few good extreme type units that are tech type so you know if you could run them on a team he'd be very very helpful for them um and that's about it i would say in terms of priority the rest are all good but nothing you should go out of your way for uh personally uh tn can be fun uh tn can be fun he helps out um he helps out 
Super Trunks. He helps out LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku with the tech key spheres. Um, he's uh, and the extra support for his Dragon Fist. So uh, he can be good, but you know he's he's lacking a bit in the defense, all except for that one turn where he changes all key spheres. So you know, I again the the priorities I would say are uh, Kaba and and it. All the rest are you know. If you get them, you get them. If not, I wouldn't go out of your way to spend stones to get them. Now, speaking of spending stones. So, in terms of spending on the units, I would say yes for those three. And I would say no for anyone else. And even then, I would say no more than one multi on the banner. And the reason I say that is because that one multi you get, that first 30 stone multi is guaranteed two units off a banner now that doesn't mean you are guaranteed the two type support units probably one of them there's a good there's pretty high likelihood one of them is going to be the type support unit but it may not necessarily be the one you want so i would definitely say jump into the banner no more than once on one of the units now that is to say if you've got the coins prioritize using coins on those units first and i'll do a whole other video on who you should coin breaking down the units individually there but as far as summoning on the banner i wanted to show you the banners because there are you know uh we'll, we'll use the str1 for example so all the banners basically have the same format type supports for the various classes um of units ba uh, based on their release time uh, within the last year or two, right? Uh, and it will all be STR, including the unfeatured units, right? So all unfeatured units on the banner are STR, and you may have noticed there are LRs on this banner. So if you were to summon, say, on the Hit and Kaba banner, trying to pick up one of those, there's a small chance you could pick up an LR Bulma, right? Or an LR UI Goku, who's about to get an ECA. Right, so it's, I mean, it's not a bad deal, especially considering that it is guaranteed. So it's a pretty good deal. You're, you're getting a guaranteed summon. You're getting an Elder Kai with your summon. And these guys start at max level. They use some of them. They're already all the way up at level 80, which, I mean, isn't that big of a deal. But, I mean, it's just less training items you got to use. You would still have to grind out the super attacks, though, so... There is that. So knowing that if you did that 30 stone multi, you get one of these guys guaranteed featured as well as, I mean, it's it's all the same no matter which banner, right? You go over the AGL banner, same deal, right? One of these guys featured and you have the, oops, you don't want that, right? Uh, you have LRs featured, even up to the Peppy Gals, right? I believe these banners go all the way up to, let's check the back one here yeah okay uh oh yes it does all right so it goes all the way up to the most recent lr which is the lr rip and so all in all knowing what the banners provide it's a pretty good deal so i would say yes if it is one of those three units that you're after and i would say yes if it's on one of these three banners but the caveat is no more than one or two multis. Do not push yourself on this banner. They're featured, they're great to have, but they are not must-haves, right? The pan is fun to use. Um, the STR units are fun. Any of these 60% support units are fun to use. If you can put them on a team and just watch them jump the attack up of some of your units, it's really fun. However, understand this is what brings us to what lies ahead right as great as these units could be as valuable as these banners are knowing that they are guaranteed featured in two months we're getting these banners right here right and heck in just two weeks we're getting the golden week banners right but more importantly in two months the big thing we're all saving for we are getting gochita and Broly for the nine year anniversary, and then following that, the Gammas and the LR Beast Gohan, the unit that everybody has been waiting for. So, to summon on these banners, 
it's it's a big old fat no like i i i cannot in good faith even knowing how good some of these guys are i cannot recommend a full summon knowing what lies ahead so that is kind of why i address this the way i did right Anniversary is just too valuable to be wasting any kind of other stones on anything other really than Colton Week, to be completely honest. So I will say this, if you know you will be getting use out of the type support units, whichever ones they are, um, I will say this. Do no more than the guaranteed features and then leave it alone. If you get them, you get them great move on about your business if you don't please do not chase them don't waste any more stones than that initial 30 stones i would say for anybody whether you're a whale whether you're um a goldfish or a complete free-to-play player i would say don't do any more than initial 30 stones just to save yourself some hassle you don't need the units they can provide you some fun, but at the end of the day, it's stones you're taking away from Beast Gohan, from the Gammas, from Gogeta, or from Broly, and you don't want to be doing that. So, guys, that is it for the video. That is my recommendation. Prioritize coining the units. Prioritize Pan. Where is she at? Prioritize Pan. Prioritize the two STRs. And the hit and the Kaba, and then you know what i'll throw it out there if you have omega shinron prioritize this guy because he really helps omega shinron but prioritize them with coins if you are dead set on summoning um then go with one of the four that i recommended and do no more than the guaranteed featured multis and leave it at that don't go any deeper than that guys that is my recommendation if you liked the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know hey which type supports are you missing me personally i'm missing the pan and the two str types well, actually i'm missing all of them <laughs> except for int gohan and rildo here so i might do a seminar two to try to pick up Pan, but otherwise I'm coining the two STR units even I myself will not be touching these banners uh, all that much simply because we know what's coming guys so guys that's it for the video if nothing else thanks for watching and aloha